Um, today what we're going to be looking at is how to add our own comment bank in my ed. So starting from our main screen once we've logged in, we're going to navigate over to Tools, top tab, and we're going to also on the left hand uh, side tab, we're going to click on Comments, and you'll see that there is a built-in district comment bank. This is something that um, the district has provided, but it is more so um, generalized comments. So we're not actually going to click on there or use any of that, and I'll show you what that looks like later on when we get to adding comments. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Codes, and you'll see that there's nothing listed in here, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to Options and then Add, and we will be adding our own new comment bank and comments into said comment bank. So um, for the purpose of our um, example here today, I'm going to include um, some information. So I'm going to put in for ID, um, basically I'm just putting my course in there, so CLE 10, and I'm going to call this the first comment for that particular course. And for comment preview, um, it basically this one also is a required field. Uh, I'm going to use T1X EXT to denote extending. So this comment will be for term one, and it's the extending comment for CLE 10. And then in the comment section, this one is also a required field. I'm going to hit uh, paste, and I'm going to paste in a comment that I have created. Obviously, this is a fictitious um, comment, and it doesn't really make sense. It's in Latin, but I'm just going to include it for the purposes of my example here. And then for category one, this one is also a required field. Um, I am going to type in term one to help me later on when I search for this particular comment code. Um, term one would be helpful. And I'm also going to put in a category called extending. And I'm also going to include a category uh, called um, CLE. So basically you can think of these as tags um, that you can later on search with. So those are all of the required pieces of information that I need and I am going to click on save. The next step that I'm going to do is I am going to actually um, cancel out of here and just show you that this um, comment bank now exists or this comment now exists um, and you can go through and add multiple comments maybe I'm going to call this CLE 10 and comment number two and maybe it's for my term one and it's proficient and I'm going to add a comment in here again it's just uh, in Latin um, but if I want to add those categories in term one and maybe I want one called proficient and maybe I want one called um, CLE. So I'm going to save that. Um, so now I should have two um, comment codes listed there. So now when I go to my grade book and I'm entering my um, comments for reporting, this is where it becomes important. Um, just make sure that you've selected the course that you want to be in um, in terms of entering your scores. Uh, I'm going to just pick Foundations of Math and Pre-Calculus. I know it's not CLE 10. This is a dummy account in the training environment, so uh, I'm just using what I have to work with. Um, and I'm going to go to Scores, and this should be relatively familiar for all of you. Um, just a reminder, if you don't see what I see on my screen, I'm going to click on Traditional and make sure that the grade column is also set to Post Columns Term. And where we enter comments would be under C-O-M-M-COM. -M -M. Um, you can click on the little page with the pencil to enter the comment for this particular student. Um, and, you know, I could, if I had a comment bank that I developed in Word or Excel or something like that, I can copy and paste that directly in here. Um, we've now created our own comment bank, so we want to be able to use that. So what I'm going to do is on the right here, it has open comment bank so I'm just going to pull that out and you can see it says district comment banks and I'm going to click on the drop down here and I'm going to click on term one and you'll see that the comments that I created T1EXT and T1PR 
F are included here. So depending on how many comments you have, you'd probably be able to scroll through all of these. Um, remember earlier when I said um, the district comment bank didn't have anything listed in there at that point. Uh, I'm just going to click on district comments and this is what I was mentioning. It's those canned kind of comments that maybe are not as useful for us given the new reporting order. Um, so just to like notify you where that actually exists, it does exist there. But the one that I want to select is called term one for the comments that I created. And you'll see that them, they are listed here now. So I'm going to click on T1 and say extending for this student called Blade. Um, what you might notice is that with my comment, um, when I created it, and I'll talk a little bit more about that um, as well, it's now replaced the student's name instead of the snippet of code that I used in the comment. So this is pretty useful. It makes it personalized for that student and I can just click save and I'm done with Blade's comment. I'm good to go. I've used a comment that I stored in my bank. Um, I'm going to go um, reminder when you are doing grades, actually sorry I should mention this, dependent on what reporting period you're in you would have to this is a grade level 10 level course and we'd have to include a percentage and if it's the final then you'd include final. If it's a grade 8 or 9 course you'd be including a proficiency scale and don't forget my big point here is don't forget to post grades in order to save what you've done in your work. Um, I'm not going to post for now but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back to tools and um, I just wanted to show you what it looks like in terms of the snippet of code I was talking about. So that is actually called a token. And I'm going to add another comment here, just number three. And I'm going to call it um, T1 um, developing. And I'll paste in my comment and I just wanted to recognize this section here. So you'll see I used a snippet of code and you might be like, Sherry, where did you get this snippet of code? Um, I actually have a document which has a table in it which you can use to copy and paste certain um, uh, fields that MyEd can pull into your comment. So for example, I wanted to use the student's name, so it's person dot first name and then I wanted to capitalize their name so when we go back to our comments here I'm gonna leave this page um, and we go to blades comment it's replaced with blades name with a capital B um, so I want to mention a couple things about tokens just now um, and as I mentioned I have a document where I've included more description and which tokens you can use um, in my ed and <clears throat> basically what it is what a token is is it's a um, replacement character for the name for the gender etc and um, it's a short snippet of code and it can only be used within the comment bank um, I tried it myself you cannot just type in um, the code in this part and expect for it to actually work. It doesn't work that way. So just FYI, don't do that because I've already played with that. It doesn't work. Um, and just wanted to make mention of the fact that some of the codes that you might want to use are around the person's name capitalization as we've used here. Um, you may also consider including um, the pronoun or gender in the comment. So this is, I would suggest a discussion at least with another colleague or within your department or at your school site. Um, my default usually is to put they, them um, to make it easier for myself to um, copy down a comment. And um, some parents and families have come back and said actually my child is not a they them they are a he him or a she her as indicated in the um, personal information verification forms on um, parent connect or sims um, that they've approved so that's what the parents and families have put forward as the pronouns so we need to be really careful um, after speaking to Marnie about it a bit more what you might want to do is actually um, 
use the pronoun that the student has in my ed that the family has approved and then if you know a student that is has transitioned use any other pronoun that is acceptable by that student um, some families may not know that the student has transitioned so we just have to be super careful about that so um, the advice now is to use the pronoun that's in my ed and um, if you know that a student has transitioned or uses a different pronoun, then to manually go in and change that. So I just wanted to make note of that. Um, the I'll just navigate to the document if I can quickly pull that up. Um, and this will be published on the um, All Things Secondary channel under... Um, uh, assessment and reporting sorry for that I'm just trying to do two things at once here so um, as I mentioned in this doc I've included more information about tokens and then also all of the different tokens you can use as well as a bit more about the um, pronouns so again you would you probably want to have this discussion at least with a colleague if not in your department and maybe with your admin or as a school as well so um, just wanted to show you quickly how to add your comment bank so that it makes your life a little bit easier and you can add those comments in and quickly access them in my ed when you're doing your reporting so um, that's all for now but I will update you as soon as I know more thanks very much